unexpected video for you today. The reason I'm doing this is because this was on my blog yesterday um, with the embroidery on the hexagons and I got quite a few comments and emails. I haven't just made this, I have made this but I made this in, let me think, 2003, four, 2004 stroke 2005. This is a ledger from one of my modules at university and I am sure I've shown this on here before and you weren't paying attention were you? So naughty naughty. But that's what it is, it's in this ledger, it's a stitch sample. So, and I did do it myself, this is lace. Somebody said was it my FME cloth, no it isn't. I didn't even have FME cloth then, I've never made it before. It's laced from the edge of a table runner or something. And plain cotton for those three. And I embroidered these trailing things on it, uh, the flowers. And it was supposed to be mimicking what's going on here, which is vintage tablecloth, okay. So that's to clarify that. Now I know I've shown you this before, but I'll show you, I'm sure I have. I'll show you it again, but only briefly because I can't, talk too long I know simply oh sorry the simply stitch three girls will be like choking on the coffee now they'll be like you're joking she never shuts up but if I start talking now and don't be careful what I'm saying I'm going to be here for 15 minutes and you won't like that you'll all turn off because this is my blog this is a different situation to class right looking at lace because of my great grandmother that's a brilliant artist called Mary Kelly look her up she documented her son's life in terms of how many mills of milk he had and how often his nappy was soiled and it's absolutely amazing very very interesting Mary Kelly um yeah so artwork based on lace, lace hexagons, um, printed cloth that I don't like, it's too plastic with some pictures from some artwork I've done on them. Again, this is artwork I did. These are things I asked my children, what do I, what do you think of if you're asked to say like items that remind you of me. So we've got over here, we've got coffee cup, thread, needles trinket box that I've got, another trinket box and my pink radio that was in my kitchen that sadly no longer works. Um, patchwork, artwork with lace with patchwork on top that's got quotes on it. Um, for example, collected and saved materials represented for women, acts of pride, desperation and necessity spiritual survival depended on the harbouring of memories each cherished scrap was a reminder of its place in a woman's life and that's from Miriam Shapiro things like that I listened to that and I get such a weird feeling you've got no idea um, right so that's that more patchwork with lace and those motifs that remind my kids of me um, another artist Faith Ringgold looking at domestic cloth I'm racing through this Hexagons with domestic cloth, um, more artwork, domestic cloths that I've drawn and hexagons. I'm looking at patchwork, grandmother's flower garden, tying it all in with my own grandmother's because I was very, very close to my own nanas. Um, so I've drawn tea towels because they were domestic, like my nanas were mothers during the Second World War. So you know, they knew all about that. Um, domesticity with very little, making the most of what you had more artwork and hexagons another brilliant artist annette messenger look her up if i start to talk to you about her we'll be here till christmas annette messenger m-e-s-s-a-g-e-r amazing woman um, more artwork iron on transfers because my nana used to use them on her tablecloths like she would buy a tablecloth with pre-printed transfers on or buy the transfers and iron them on so this is me trying to do it with those pictures of the things my kids picked for me. Um, blue and white flowers on here mimicking iron on transfers superimposed onto what my kids associate with me. More patchwork, more hexagons. Um, this page, I don't like the colour of the background of this, but my motifs that the children associate with me with iron on transfers superimposed on the top and some stitching of hexagons down here and a bit of embroidery showing through there and then that thing from yesterday that's the reason for all this and I was making here the comfort cloths you've seen that before I know you've seen it before and um, so that was based on my ironing board cover because you know when you're a mother you never stop ironing I don't stop ironing now um, 
I'm always ironing. I'm still a mother, but they don't live here. And I'm still ironing, ironing, and ironing. So it's my ironing board, looking at the shape of my ironing board, and then looking at it, morphing the ironing board into a sleeping bag. And again, over here, into sleeping bag with placement of motifs and patches, etc. And then more artwork. You've seen it, I know you've seen it. And this is the paper pattern that I use to cut out my pieces. And this is the picture, so you've seen it. That was all involved with the creation of this piece. That's the front and that's the back. And it is human size and it is like a sleeping bag and it's got a big zip, sorry, here up the back. Okay, massive zip up the back. Um, hexagons with a vintage tablecloth all the way up there. And then about three meters of hand painted cotton by me that I painted all those motifs on that the children associate with me. And then on top of that, stitched the blue and white flowers um, the blue flowers, sorry, on the white background which mimic the iron-on transfers of my nana. So I've got the iron-on transfer reference for my nana and I've got the hexagon grandmother's flower garden pattern for my nana, okay. So that's that and I'm going to shut up six minutes.